Women in Morocco have made gains in equality. They have the right to divorce, and there are laws that protect them from the traditional practice of repudiation, in which husbands are able to dissolve marriages nearly at will. But challenges remain for many women in the country, according to human rights advocates. Dr. Botaina Karouri is president of the Azara Forum for Moroccan Women. It's an NGO which works on women and family issues, mainly in the rural areas of the country. FSRN's Salim Rizvi sat down with her at the UN, where the 56th session of the Commission on the Status of Women just wrapped up. Since your organization works in the rural areas, so what are the problems women are facing in the rural areas of Morocco? Uh, the biggest problem is about education. We can speak about uh, having uh, women in, uh, politi- in the politics without or resolve their, this problem. So we have uh, in Morocco, 40% women are analphabets. They can't read, so they can't defend their rights. Uh, the second thing is uh, having uh, e- economic power. When we speak about education, we mean not the high-level education uh, that the women must go to the university. We we think about what is their uh, their needs, what they need. The rural women, uh, women in Morocco, rural women in Morocco. It isn't rural women in Europe, but it isn't the same in Africa or in Asia. So the United Nations must have this global vision to the problems of Morocco. So what are other problems uh, that women face in the rural areas in your country? Uh, rural women in general are poor, poor than, than uh, men. So uh, they can't uh, have uh, land. Uh, she can have anything. She can have the a cow. Uh, have a, but land, no land. It uh, it means men, men who have the right to have the land. There is a problem of uh, uh, there is no water. There is no hospitals. We have a lot of women who died when we want to to have a baby because the hospital is very, very far. So we, we bring it in, in a horse or in a... Uh, so many, many of women die because there isn't hospitals. Lots of problems. So what do you think the government in Morocco, is it doing enough? Uh, do you have any hopes of some improvement for women in your country? I, I am very hopeful because it is the last hope for the whole Morocco. This is it's, this government is the last hope. We are tired from corruption. The education is the first things is the 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 first priority of the whole world. We can't speak about nothing if we don't have resol- resolve this uh, problem, and especially in Morocco. It's a shame. It's a shame for Morocco because Morocco is a very developed uh, country. In a, a government who, has, who was elected by the, the majority, it's the first time in Morocco we have a government like this. Uh, we, hope, we hope, and it is a, a minister of, uh, of women and family. She was uh, president of ANGO, and I think she can she can do something, and so the governments can do something about rural women in these five years. So, how hopeful are you for the change in the mindset of uh, society, so that uh, women uh, get their due? I think we have a long uh, work to do about this uh, culture and social uh, uh, image of women. Uh, and, and the men and the, the society. The society thinks that uh, political affairs is for men and uh, women have to participate only in the family. So we have, uh, we must have the programs uh, within the family, all the family, the men also. We must have uh, uh, also uh, some seance for men also. That's Dr. Botaina Karuri, president of the Azara Forum for Moroccan Women, speaking with FSRN's Salim Rizvi at the UN.